This is Daryl from Roanoke Hobby. My amateur radio call sign is Kilo India 4 Lima Lima Alpha KI4 LLA. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the uh, third generation uh, Bofang, the BF F8 HP. And the HP, for all practical purposes, stands for high power because the this generation. Uh, this particular model has an output of 8 watts on VHF and 7 watts on UHF. And I would say the biggest feature that I've noticed in, in this model um, is that it has got a greatly improved user manual. The, uh, the manual that comes in the box has been completely rewritten um, you can look at the credits to see uh, the, the people that worked on uh, actually putting together a real working manual. That alone to me is worth the extra price for, for this new model of radio. Of course, I'm sure everyone's familiar with the Bofeng UV5R, which has been around for several years. I've, I've owned uh, several of them. They're great little radios and they're extremely cheap, but they have a user's manual that's just next to useless. And a lot of people, you know, have complained that they had trouble, you know, figuring out how to program and operate the radio. Well, with with this, that has been that has been fixed, definitely been fixed. Um, some of the other features, just to kind of point out, with the, this new generation is. To me, a much better uh, fit and look to the to the face of it. Um, it's got these heavy duty screws here holding in the face. The buttons are essentially the same. You still have your A, B, and your VFO uh, memory uh, button, but the speaker grid is is a nicer um, metallic speaker grid, um, slightly larger and a slightly different shape. Uh, for the buttons on the side. You have the usual uh, Kenwood style plug for the speaker mic and uh, plug in the programming cable. But when I get to part two uh, of this, we'll actually go into uh, programming it from the keypad. I, I really don't see a need unless you're actually having to configure uh, uh, several radios. Uh, I don't see the need of getting the program programming cable right off the bat. Um, for a new user. It's, I'm going to show you in the second part that it, it's relatively easy to keep the program it from the keyboard. Um, so besides that, the look and feel, uh, the high power, um, with the greater power you need a little more uh, battery juice. So uh, it comes with a 2100 milliamp hour battery. That slips on on there. Um, like I mentioned, the three it has three power levels, so it has the full 8 watts at high, medium, which is 4 watts, and uh, low, which is 1 watt. Uh, when the radio is on, um, the pound key here, you press it to change the power level, and press and hold this key to lock the keyboard. And um, if, you, uh, if you buy this direct um, from BTEC, um, either on their Amazon store or um, from BofangTech.com, the radio has a one-year warranty. So keep your uh, keep your purchase receipt, and uh, you you have a one-year warranty uh, from the reseller. Whereas um, you can you can buy cheaper uh, Bofang UV5Rs, but um, you're really the only guarantee you have is maybe like the uh, the 60-day return policy on eBay or a re the if it allows you to return it on Amazon. So I, I would recommend spending a little bit more to, to get the BF F8 HP uh, direct from Bofeng Tech. Uh, to me, the extra features, the extra power is, uh, is worth the uh, little bit more that it costs. So Go ahead and turn it on there, and it's the usual, very much the same. If you've had a UV5R in the past, 
the, the screen and the buttons and the menu is all the same. So, so that's just a brief introduction to this model. And in part two, we're going to go into a little more detail on how to program repeaters into this radio from the keypad. So if uh, this use video has been useful and uh, you've gained something from it, uh, give us a, a like, give us a thumbs up and appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for part two. We'll go into the programming it from the keypad.